не скажу. Yeah. I'll have to get those again. Were they pricey? No, it's like ten bucks for six. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not too bad. Not at all. For I'm not a sour fan, but that was pretty good. Yes. Hello, Jurassic. Hello, Jurassic. Yeah, I'll play the music. They say lots of curse words. Put somebody off. No, it doesn't work. And kill somebody. <laughs> nope. Apparently that doesn't work. Uh, tried actually tried doing that. Didn't yeah, work. You should find swear words. Uh, swear words are apparently for thirteen and under. Thirteen and under. That's that. Anything marked for kids is for under thirteen years old. <laughs> and the, if, if and apparently the people have tried swearing and violence. And it doesn't work. Has anybody tried Ron Jeremy in a bikini just kind of dancing in the background at least in one scene? It's no, one frame. Kid, they should want really hard to keep kids away from that. No, it's the content, which means I am I think I might just start going through a lot of my videos and removing tags that are specific to the show. Because there's no other way they would really know yeah. without doing video scanning, which they're not going to no, do. Just Hello. My little pony stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean... But I mean, I've had a video where the audio is from a mo immensely gory anime, and a, one of the parts is of the sound of a man being shot in the head, yeah, and screaming a bloody murder, yeah. And I stated that in the appeal, and they said, "Nope, for kids." No, they don't care. I even put said I have a link in the description to the content that they can click. It's don't care. It's quicker to say no than actually watch the video. Um, yeah, that's uh, it's very frustrating. Have you got well, to the point where you've considered just reloading everything up again with different tags? Uh, no, re-uploading wouldn't really change much. Well, um, we'd get the stuff that's been marked for kids, unmarked for kids. Yeah, and then they would probably just remark it right away. Well, if you didn't tag it. Plus, then it could, if they see me constantly re-uploading content trying to bypass their judgment, then they could probably flag me as a problem account because I am just taking their rules and throwing them out the window. So... Well, they're not. The, well, I have no idea. It's frustrating. It seems like they're losing the, uh, the benefit of a lot of hard work. Um, where is... Uh, well, if you want to assure enough for kids that Michael dressed in a bikini dancing uh, during the credits... We couldn't get Ron Jeremy to do it. I gotta do Well, it. I gotta make sure that it's even... Yeah, I'm able to put it on YouTube. Right. I'm pretty sure that would be violating a lot of terms and conditions of the universe. People, where my music? Where my music at? Oh, that, that is. Did did I hit the wrong, oh, I did the wrong button. Hold on. No, hold on. I, I, I was in the wrong view on this, and uh, I want to go to that one. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, wrong button. Wrong button. Sorry. Um, and let's see if I fixed my record button now. Yep. Good night, Jurassic. I did not. Confused as to why that's busted. So, all right, oh, okay. Hello, hello, Fire Echo. Um, oh yeah, I was. I needed a. Oh, I did post everywhere. Hello, people. No, uh, if you want to see a fun graph, because so for context, we had uh, a. I, I was at, I brought up on Twitter. I was asking other pony creators if they could provide info on Copa for, and some. Nutrifin said basically everything of his has been marked. Uh, a couple other people have been fighting it. It sounds like it's just been a bitch. I was fine for a while, but I've been getting hit really hard, and so far all appeals have been denied. Um, but I had a picture here I kind of filtered to, to show you. Yeah, here. So this, this is YouTube revenue. And I, I marked here... I, I marked here where the... Uh, where the where they had the Copa marks hit. Look look at look at that. Pretty look rough. at that. It was going and that's that's a four month picture. So it's going up mainly because January is always the worst time for YouTube and then it slowly starts picking up in March. So really all it's doing is recovering back to normal and then immediately it's down to nothing. So yeah. Yeah. So that makes stuff a little hard. So 
Um, so, sorry to hear that. Well, hello, Flitter. I hope you made it home safe. Um, no, it's just, it's, I, it's mo it's a lot of YouTube's fault, but it's most of the government's fault, and then YouTube's just having to do what the government says. But the thing that always got that about me. Because they're going to wait till the last minute. They probably gave a, a grace period. But, you know, it's rough. Um, but it's like, it's like uh, if you're digging a hole and then, and then somebody just starts tossing dirt back in the hole, how long do you keep digging before you just give up? And I feel like that's kind of what it is of, do I just keep making stuff and then have it like blocked from like comments? Uh, discovery everything well then what am i doing it feel it's you're you're banging a head against the wall and hoping hoping to like it just doesn't make any sense so i have to figure out what i want to do because it's if i keep having this happen it's going to basically make it so that i am unsustainable uh from youtube's perspective so on that type of medium so Okay. Now I've been talking out. so much smack, chat. You didn't even. Think yeah, that. now he's good. Um. Um. Peekaboo, peek. Let's go peekaboo. Um. We'll busy gut. Uh. But happy to get back into things. Yes, it is really nice being home. Oh, it's like Black Tuesday. Black Tuesday. What's Black Tuesday? Oh, I like graphs. Oh, yeah. Okay, the graph going down. Line go down. Yes. Uh. No, and that's been so, that's been the last couple months. So it's been significant. It was 75% is what I came out to. Michael sounds better. Well, that's good. He doesn't sound louder. He sounds better. <laughs> if you find out that just changing the tags is um, enough, say on like on this video, would you consider real uploading your other videos? If the tag, well, I don't know. Because most of the videos that are getting tagged are from eight years ago. Yeah. So... Um, like the, one of the more recent ones wasn't revenue based. So that's fine. It didn't affect revenue, but the, the two that were the big ones were my two biggest revenue ga gainers. I don't have many videos that actually can have revenue because they're, uh, copyrighted content. So when I've have the ones that are able to have that hit, it's like, it hurts. So, um, but that's where like Patreon and you guys on Twitch have been very helpful. So thank you very much that, uh, actually helps uh balances things off way more so thank I, you very much i can help by making more chicken chicken There's some chicken in there i could cook it. oh yeah yep yeah. well no i'm surprised you didn't eat leftovers today honestly uh i i brought some leftovers to work mm. so i just kind of said it fuck it uh maybe tomorrow um what are we doing here we've still got horses doing horse things i was hoping the swearing in here would help but i now i don't know <clears throat> she heard a funny yeah. she heard a funny joke Ron Jeremy dancing in a bikini just up there in the like town hall or Michael. something. That's a good face. Look at that face. Rainbow has a good face. I like Rainbow's face. She's got Pinky's hair all up in her face, but it's like <laughs> engulfing. It's kind of engulfing her. She's head. got she's and she's eating her leg. And and, she, and Twilight got kicked. Yeah, she's oh, just in the butt. She's just destructive. This is there's a lot going on in this right now. <laughs> Um, eight-year-old video sadness has been portrayal. No, yeah, it's been a mix of stuff, uh, all the way going back. The one which I thought was funny that I was actually able to dispute was remembrance. That was one of the first ones that got tagged, and I was like, "This is about dealing with death, uh, and 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 stuff." Kids it's a very adult death. topic, and they refu they gave it back to me within an I think a day, the fastest turnaround I've ever had. It was kind of stupid. You just gotta tell them that. Every video is oh. about death, Michael. It's all metaphor. Okay, hold, on, hold on, we, we um. So now that my Reddit uh, account's recovered, we have the Silver and Nolan made a uh, uh, oh no a, a, an account, and so we have uh, they did. We, so we've been making <laughs> some memes uh, on on r slash Argo oh, Damon, no. and we have uh, we have the derpy, and then I made yes. this one, um, and it's it's, it's, it's wait. Just, See, see this, this rainbow dash is like, like, oh, it's like, ooh, it's derpy. Okay. And then it's like, derpy with a juice box. Oh. And then it's derpy with socks. Oh. And then it's like, boom. Oh, gosh, oh. <laughs> you just go go take a foofs. <laughs> she got a foofs. Um, and then, uh. Oh, that's a good, I like that one. You need to post that somewhere. It did. It's on, it's on my Reddit. You need to post um, it everywhere. I also did this one. 
Always <laughs> exist. <laughs> no, no, you're a bad person. <laughs> uh, so it was. We've had some fun. Uh, so if you want, to uh, go to you can. Ours. Did you make that one? Th- which one? Uh, not. I know you made the one with the cracking. That that one. I made this one. Yeah. Post that on like Twitter. <laughs> it's so good because I'm like I know you should go horse, but this is no that no. This so very cool. um, but yeah. Uh, so hey, you can have some fun there. We've just been posting bull crap. Um, plus, apparently, there's tags for Argo is best and Michael is best, and Silver has Michael is best. <laughs> Fantastic. Betrayed. But now I had a Reddit account, then it got hacked for like multiple years as they posted uh, through for Ethereum crap. I put in a dispute a month ago, and they got back to me yesterday. So, hello, wonderful. Kite. Um, uh, hello. Post on Twitter, plus. Post on Twitter. I can post on Twitter. Oh, we'll do it a little later. Um, I want to at least get a little bit done in here. So, um, Wait, what do I have to do? Minutes. So, this is the only one that we have to actually keyframe. No, no, we have to keyframe this one. No, oh, no, I was working on this one. I was thinking of adding more swearing to this, but I'm actually thinking um, to keep it as it is. I think it's funnier this way. Yeah. Um, though I have to think about what to do for conventions because even beeping, I can't show at a panel. Really? Though, if, oh my god, the amount it's of beeping. swearing at BabsCon panels normally was actually kind of ridiculous. They said the F word, the S word, so many times in just in PG panels. I was a little like, what? Uh, anyway, um, no, it's but it's beeping, so I'd have to find. I'm gonna have an idea for an alternate version. They won't allow beeping. Well, no, I'd just rather not deal with it. Oh, okay. So. Um, I still I hello Sunny Zoom. I know it was one of the burning cons where somebody showed a Five Nights at Freddy. Uh, yep, that was uh, we, Adam showed it, and uh, to everybody in the in the room, they're like, "Yay!" Ooh. And then for us on the panel, we almost got like banned from Brony Con. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so because uh, some kid like freaked. Yeah, they lost some their crap. Some kid got really scared at the fri- Five Nights at Pinky's video that showed immediately after Remembrance, so it made a really weird dichotomy or something uh, but the person that runs the panel rooms w- was storming up to the the uh, front of the room after we were done telling us to get the f- off the stage <laughs> and we're like oh what happened and yep talk to her later uh yep, it was they just got chewed out by an angry mom probably yeah they got well for one she was she was only there we t- we warned people before the video she stayed there because she wanted to be for there for the next panel. But by rules, you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to have everybody leave the room, so it didn't make any sense. But I don't know. Next year, we had a panel at 1 in the morning for SFM. What? Yeah, probably because somebody got angry. So, but they needed content. Uh, oh, let's do let's do Twilight here now. Um, yeah, Santa's is very stressful. Hope they stop uh, with the swearing next year. We'll see. Well, no, it was just, it's fine. It happens, but I heard it a lot. But if people, that's in their normal vocabulary, I understand it. You can't help yourself, but try. It just felt like there wasn't even much trying going on. I've gotten really good about if I don't want to swear, I don't. Uh, I'll, you know, make up some other word. Um, Also, using the word bucking in place of it, I think is... A cop out, and it's still you shouldn't do. So, because then your teeth. If a kid goes home and starts saying like "buck this," I'm pretty sure some people are still going to be mad. I swear, like a sailor. So it's it's well endless. There is. I say this because there have been um, like people on Twitter that were talking about the things that are shown at some of the conventions, and um, like I had one person tweet me directly, and they're like, "This is why I don't bring my daughter to the to those conventions." I'm like, "Well, it's supposed to be a family friendly environment, but." Then again, they don't always treat it that way. So, I mean, was, was she referring to the Five Nights at Freddy thing? No, no, it was some other. Or just cursing? In I can't remember what the. Oh, I think it was because we were heading towards the convention and we were showing like drinking some beers before the convention, and then that was the cause because there's adult things going on there. Well, yeah, it is, but it's supposed to be open for everybody. But I mean, they can be protective if they want to be. They say frick. Just say frick. Frick is better than buck, I think, because that's uh, that's like the PG. That's the that's the PG version of the the f bomb. Yeah. Yeah, and that's and I think that's a little better. Buck is very much just trying to be the swear word. 
You're not trying to replace it. You're just saying, ha-ha, look. I said, no, I don't, I don't like that. But again, I, I swear all the time, it's just different when in certain situations. Uh, for the PPG panels, at least. And yeah, I really appreciate when people, like, you're able to do that. Yeah, that's... And they ask you in the panel uh, thing of, like, what type of content do you have? I think PG or maybe even PG-13 co uh, comedy is funnier than rated R comedy. When somebody just uses sex and violence as a method to get a laugh, that's not funny. When it's forced. Yeah, when it's forced. If it feels forced. Yeah, when they're just, not. like, screaming the F word or something. It's, yeah. I don't think that's funny. I, I, I love Jackbox when you get those jokes that aren't innuendos. They're just, like, that perfect answer that is good for all ages and is hilarious. Those are the answers that I look for. And I love those ones. We had a problem when we were at Ciderfest. They had a Jackbox event, and a lot of people were putting that type of content a lot of like rainbow dash jar jokes and they're like okay if you guys want to do this now sure but this is to win a chance to do it in front of a larger audience on main stage you can't do that there and yeah the amount of people that did that was pretty nuts I, but it's okay because me stage. and adam were one of the two that got on stage because yeah we were funny so um <laughs> yes yeah funny you tried uh, did i yeah i believe you you tried didn't you yeah, I don't think I got very far. Or some, if I did, I can't. It was remember. it was rough because there was there was some legitimately good funny people. Uh, but then, oh, me and Adam only both won because of uh, I think oh, the like game crashed the at game the end, crashed. and we were going to go against each other for the last question, and it would have actually determined the winner. And so I, they thought that I was going to probably take it. But they, they they said, you know what, we, we actually are kind of short on people, so you both can get in. Right. It worked out. Now, Rated R is um, all about schmecks and violence anymore. It's kind of sad and unfunny. Yeah. Schmecks. It's like most Jackbox I see is is a lot of that. It's these it's innuendos and the extremes, which can be funny. It's done with like moderation. But like when it's the choose three words and it's just three swear words, like Heh, funny, but it's that's not comedy. It's it's a knee slapper, but it's not comedy. Comedy is fart jokes. It's the only true form of comedy. Uh, I love wholesome humor, and that's actually one of the reasons. Like with um, the the Copa thing that bugs me is because I saying like somebody had made the mention of like well he's got a bunch of swearing and or and violence or gore and it's like but the whole but that now, seems bad then because yeah. like i have nieces and nephews and one of the reasons i like doing wholesome was i wanted it to be content that they could watch not suddenly have it be like oh i do stuff that's like that but don't watch that don't don't look at no look well, away and no they're making it so that you have to create content like that just to not end up uh made for kids and have your videos demonetized well the problem is if you use, put too much violence in there you can get demonetized because your content's not fit for advertisers <laughs> so it, it's 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 not a it's a complicated you, situation you know who doesn't lose any money though hmm. youtube the thing is the nice thing is because of other content on my channel i don't think that there's any way that they could mark my whole channel as made for kids but uh i'm hoping not anyway so I'm just adding a little bit of uh, a default anime, like idle animation to Twilight here. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit more than I need, but that's fine. I can add too much and then backtrack it a little bit. Fart, fart jokes are so funny. They are. They can be. Yeah. Uh, well, no. If the joke is the if the fart is the butt of the joke, <laughs> sure. But you did it. But if to me, oh, like randomly throwing one in can just get a laugh from anybody. Yeah. As long as you don't overdo it. Don't overdo your farts. Well, farting or fart jokes? Uh, f well, either. All right, all right. Can, we're gonna, you can always have a gay ass. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> Silver said butt. <laughs> she did say butt. <laughs> she did say butt. <laughs> Why am I doing this right uh, there? Okay, now I can see the bones. Oh, no, I don't want to see those bones. Okay. No, oh, what are those bones? Wait, I thought I hid your wings. Why would you hide her wings? He needs those. They're part of her. Which is just weird. And no one ever stopped oh. being weird. It's because I still haven't organized this stupid model. 
It's got all those extra bones. I have to still go and organize that. Well, how horrifying did it have to have been for her just to have limbs sprout from her sides that she never had before? She was in an ethereal realm where pain yeah. and misery were just I'm not saying she was in pain. It would just be weird. All right. Like, how would your brain even compensate for that? Well, yeah, that, um, well, there's the people that are born with six fingers. Yeah. And, like, how does that work? Or, did they, like, yeah, but do they function individually or are they, like, tied to another finger? Yeah, because, like, well, you could maybe say that every pony, the, the differences in the races may be no different than, like, colors of hair. And so the genes are maybe in there somewhere. Yeah. I, and they're I just about being expressed. So, but yeah, usually your brain has segments that are dedicated to certain types of things. So suddenly a part of her brain had to just be replaced. It was memories of Spike. That was what yes. it was. That was for the, the she just pops up and she's like, who are you? I kind of hope that extra limbs aren't just a general genetic trait that they all have the cognizance for. Because are all Earth ponies experiencing like phantom limb syndrome? <clears throat> for limbs they never had <laughs> like that sounds absolutely horrifying yeah it sounds like earth ponies are gonna have a rough time yeah they got just got phantom limb syndrome over like a quarter of their body so what are what are pegasus and unicorns missing compared to earth ponies um a soul <laughs> they're they, so earth ponies yes. have a soul yes the only ones they're, that's okay. what that's what applejack says so anyway. all earth ponies go to heaven yes and all the others are just dead. Yeah, they're just dead. They're there. To, they're, they're there for really. the for the purpose of enjo yeah. creating enjoyment for the Earth Pony race. Yes, they're like dogs. Yeah, like, and that's what Applejack says. Applejack is a dog. No, she she says that about um. Yeah, that's her what I'm thinking. Okay, good. Quotation mark. Argo add a pony butt to each video with the caption mandatory culpa disclaimer. But that even feels weird. Like, or you made the mention of just like renaming everything, but then that's going against what Is I it? shouldn't need to do that. You shouldn't, but that's where they're pushing But that's you. but then but then I don't want to do that content anymore. If I have to go to the point where I have to go against my morals and the way things that I want to do just to keep doing something that I want to do. Well, then I'm just going to do something else. I would uh, I would start with just changing the tags. The t yeah, removing some of the tags, but all I'm doing is hiding. Well, you're not hiding. You're just trying not to get caught by a robot. It's not a person you're hiding Yeah, but from. if that robot's roaming around, not getting caught means hiding. Yeah, well, you're hiding from a soulless machine, yes. Yeah, is that we what should you, all be hiding from the soul. Is machines. that what you do when you wake up and the Roomba's going around? Yes. <laughs> you hide from that get that thing. It's terrifying. Yeah, Mike was talking no, about mean, yesterday how the Roomba scares if, the crap out of him. If you were hiding from a person making rational decisions and actually watching your videos, that would be one thing. But you're just hiding from an algorithm. That's all you're trying to do. But people can flag things as, hey, this is made for kids. Yeah, but is that what's happening? Uh, uh, usually it tells me if it's a bot, so. Has it been telling you it's a bot? I'd have to double check. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, see you later, Flitter. Uh, unicorns are used to make glue, and Pegasus are used to make house paint. House paint? <laughs> well, they, uh, the feathers are used for the brushes. Look at that rainbow horse. She's full paint. Yeah, it's already leaking. Yeah, it's bringing out. I think one of my favorite scenes uh, was just silly as where Pinky's like getting a bucket of paint and she's just like, which color do you need today, Pinky? And they're just like, give me the whole rainbow. And they pour the rainbow into the bucket and it just turns to brown paint. <laughs> it's just like, yep, that's that's how that works. It's like, you have brown now. Yeah, which I always thought was funny. Because brown is essentially just dark orange. Yeah. Or is dark orange. Yeah. So why is it that all colors, when it comes to paint, turn to dark orange? Because that's just like one short of black. But why is that? Why is dark green not short of black? That's how colors work. No. I'm thinking that the between all the different colors and how pigments work, that the whatever strength those are to our eye... Physically, uh, like the red just takes over or something. And I, I don't know. It's always it, that always I found was uh, interesting. It, Even amounts of all. If it was green, that be mean there was like a lack of uh, oh, what would it be? like a lack of red. Well, then why is there a lack of green and it's orange? There's not a lack of green. It's got green in it. It just makes a dark brown. But why brown? 
Because that has both. No, brown is a color. It is orange. It is a kind of orange. You could say it's kind of an orange okay, red. Okay, hold, hold on. Pushing dark. Because we only define color by what we inter interpret. We have brown because there's so much brown around us. But mm -hmm. it's because they can't afford all the, uh, the pixel generations um, outside. No, okay, right. so let's Especially see. Right now, it's still very brown. Okay, so we have our little... Oh yeah, it does this little freeze thing right away. Uh, Michael, did you know it's Pinky's birthday today? Is it? Is it Pinky Day? I thought it was some ponies day. I didn't know which one. Derpy's day is like... I thought that was earlier. March I don't know why it's not April 1st. It's March. There it goes. It okay. should be April 1st. No, okay, so if we go here, would you say that's brown? Yes. Okay, if that's brown, then what is this? It's green. Okay. What is this? It's also green. Then what is this? It's orange. -ish. Then why is it different? Why is why is this orange and this is brown, but this is green and this is green? That's they're two very different greens. They're different greens, but you're still calling it the same word. I mean, this is blue and this is blue. That's more of a violet. Well, because okay, right there. That's now I'm in blue. Blue, blue. No, the one purple, purple. No, not purple, purple. They, they, look, Crayola worked all this out. If you want to contact this the is, expert, this is Indian red. <laughs> I think they probably changed that. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm, that's one they probably changed. No, but brown is just orange. So why is it when all colors mix together, it hits this point on orange line? Because now you're getting. That's just the way that scale is. Why you is it the scale? scale? Because that's how rainbows. So work. if you made brown brighter and brighter and brighter, rainbow. Are you like, like this? Things. Is this a light brown or a light orange? It's pushing like kind of a grayish brown. Okay. What about now? S orange is gray. Okay. So how do I do in a brownish green? Like a brownish green? No. Okay. Brownish purple. Brownish. Brownish purple. If you can make a brownish orange, how do you make a brownish purple? If brown is a separate color. How do you make a brownish purple? Like, you know, we're going to go to purple. Oh, look, it's purple. Yeah, that's purple. There. Now, where do I get brown in here? I think you'd have to push a little bit into the red. No, you went too far. It's a very narrow. Like, go down. Like, Why is that so narrow? But when I'm here, it's like this whole goddamn area. It's because you're lying. Well, you're not going to get purple there. You're going to get purple. Well, yeah. But here, where's brown? It's it doesn't exist anywhere in this entire bit from probably right here all the way down to about here. Are you going to find brown? Not. No, that's kind of brownish. No, that's puke. Yeah, that's it's a very scientific name for a color. But why are you so hung up on brown? What do you Because I like brown. Brown brown is like my favorite color. Brown and orange. I love I love that <laughs> color scheme. So I just you're, so talk, you're talking you're talking crap of my favorite horse. I mean bright color. <laughs> Applejack's your favorite no. horse is no. No, she heard me though, and she's like, <laughs> she's like I don't want to be your favorite yeah, horse. Yeah, brown is just dark orange. Game of Tron yeah. is I mean, yes, okay. I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, see brown brown is well, brown is a scale. If you if you were going for a very specific like cliche brown but no if you look at other cultures there are cultures where the only colors are red black and white or where the teal exists but green and blue don't so it's all about where we draw the line and then our brain starts to just programmically see patterns in the colors based on what we're used to all colors are determined by crayola crayola rocks they are the the end end of all discussions masters I feel like there's just like this tribunal of like old persons and uh, and like a. Is this the Crayola Illuminati? Yes, and they're all like there's a statue. It's Illuminati white. Ooh. <laughs> yes, they, they they made this decision. There's just like a, a golden statue with like Crayola kid, like at the center, and they are the ones who decide the colors. The kid is in a cage and they just bring him like, what color is this? And he's like, it's bubblegum pink. Ah. Uh, I hold it up. Like a new color has been born, so saith the tribunal um, of Crayola. No, there was a, there's a YouTube channel uh, I watch. Um, yeah, so it's, I love this, the, the thing. It's called Brown. It's 21 minutes about the color brown. And it's actually 
kind of interesting because it goes 1.4 million views yeah that's he, he actually makes fun of the fact that that is a very popular he's got 1.5 million subscribers like no that helps. It's, it's, he's really snarky it kind of reminds me of you so um but no actually but he keeps a straight face you just laugh so uh but no that it is a very fun video and it's a very good video about the color brown so uh, i will remember not to laugh at you <laughs> i failed uh, straight, I love straight face humor. Being able to say a joke and then not laugh up to it because you can just get so many people. You can. It does work better. I'll, not I'll, better. It depends on the joke. I'll, I'll I'll make point to never laugh again. All laughter on this channel has ceased. I I will hear none of it. Not from you. Not from that horse. Or, or Twilight, who appears to be. Why are you speaking in sudden right accent? Now. I I have eliminated it all. <laughs> it's so laughter. And so now I must talk like this. This is this is the mm. voice of not laughter. Mm. You can call me Watson. Watson, that's a horrible name. I'm gonna be known as Watson. You can be Watson. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be Sherlock. I'm gonna be. Um, I, just I just called it. Mr. Cleverfield. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Clever. What did I just say about no laughing? My goodness. Oh, my favorite color is yellow. Neon yellow. Brighter the better. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, no, that's not a bad. Everybody's favorite color is different. I like that. Oh. I, I used to kind of do a blue, but I love, like, uh, if I had to pick a color, um, my favorite color is probably right around like there really kind of a reddish orange with a that's a little bit darker because i just love that like burning orange um it's like color a, but that's why I'm the color like, of a bad poop if your poop looks like that that's why it's a bad poop you you, you better just, call the er yeah exactly or you ate a fuck of carrots and it's also possible now every time you look at that color you'll just see a big poop carrot no, it's like sunsets and the, like the burning from a uh, glow from a sky. I just I love that color so much. That's kind of why my OC has those colors, and I like it. I think mine's just kind of that color on here. I like the color, whatever color Ecto Cooler is, because that is the greatest thing ever invented. Ecto Cooler is like that. Yes, amazing. Actually, there is a a color green that you can see that is more green than you can actually see. Because the the um, some of the cones in your eye have overlap, and so your green cone it is really difficult to get it to activate your green cone and nothing but because it, the red cones coincide and go over the green cone a little bit, so you're dumbing it down a little bit. But you can if you like basically stare at um, red for a long long period of time and then switch it to green. You can burn your red cone out, and you will see a greener green than you can normally see. Neat. It's kind of neat, and is you, you actually look at it, and you're like, "Wow, that is really green." Now, I've seen I've seen some pictures kind of that neat. really mess with colors, especially that one Coca Cola one that we all stared at for the solid two hours trying to figure out. Which Coca Cola one? The one that used like teal and the red, but it wasn't red; it was gray. But it oh, red. like the uh, the dress. Did that too. Well, I think the dress was more about just lighting. Um, no, it wasn't. It, there's was the exact. There was no change in lighting. People just saw it different. Well, they took two different well, pictures like, of it that definitely made it two different colors. Like depending on which picture you were looking at, it looked two different colors. Yeah. No, they were changing the lighting to make it stand out. Yeah. So that you could see the the, the differences more pronounced, but. The general idea, though, is what color is the dress? And some people were saying that it was like yellow and white, and other people were saying that it's blue and black. Yeah, but if it was in the darker areas, it would definitely look more blue and black. Yeah, but they're saying based on this picture, people yeah. were actually having having difficulty, which as to which one. It is. <laughs> oh no, not the dress. I agree, Sir Edward. Yeah, but no, that it was an interesting discussion on how the mind works and interprets color because. You interpret color based on context. If you think it's a blown out shot, you actually see the colors different. Your brain does some crazy manipulation of, of stuff. And I, I, I love that kind of thing. Like your eyes, um, there's a dead spot in your eye that you cannot see. And it's slightly off center on both eyes. 
and you literally cannot see anything for a very small portion, but you never notice it because your brain just fills it in. There's a little trick you can do using a, like a, a circle and a dot and you can, you change the distance you go to it until that dot on that circle overlaps with that blind spot and it will literally disappear to, and you will see a perfect circle. As long as you don't look at it. If you turn to look at it, now it pops in because it's outside by the blind spot. It's so interesting. I always saw it as blue. So, but I can definitely like kind of think really? about it and see it as the. Uh, I always see it as golden, golden white more. I see it as blown out, so then my brain is interpreting it more as a black and blue. But then I can definitely see it the other way too. Fine, go back to the original picture. Cause now, now I'm actually curious. Look at that that picture. Mm -hmm. What does that look like to you? I think it's. I think it's. Do I th see black here? No, but I see blue here, I see and because it's gold. No, I see this is blue, and because I see this is blue first off, my brain sees the others as black because it can see that this is too bright, too blown out. But I can see white and gold as well. No, I can, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. You know what this means, though, right? That you're wrong. We can't live together anymore. This is this is the end of our friendship. It's well, all over that dress. As long as you keep getting rent. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down to the dress. It all comes down to money. That's... Yeah. There's, um, see I see other like Jurassic. Uh, I mainly wear black. Nothing wrong with some earth tones. <laughs> he sees vertical stripes. That's um, so dress, crazy. He the dress is a vertical. <laughs> said vertical so stripes. The stripes are horizontal. They're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that. Yeah, I probably could see that discussion happening in the chat. Um, what is the actual color though? If I had to take a guess, I would say. It's probably black and blue. What? But See. because there's so much yellow blowing out that lighting. Um, no, it's I, definitely white and gold. No, because, well, so there's all this yellow around there. What is making it look because I see the this lack of color is what's making it look blue. Not an excess. Okay, we're not, we're not. If you put a hard you know what? Line Here's on a better it, it's dress. It's gonna be white. Uh. How about that one? Or maybe this one. That's a good one too. <laughs> it was before. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Um, these these models who like pose for these picture these shirts that can have anything imposed on them. I wonder if they know what horrible pictures will exist of them. Yeah, I always love those models when they're like, they're like, wow, look at that guy. He's a brony. Gross. I think I was looking at one person's Twitter account today and they were like, why do so many more people follow my pony account than my regular account? It's because of the who's, isn't it? And just like, yes. Got a cute, cute who's are cute. Who's are pretty great. Here I am with these like functional hands that aren't hooves. But I, I like your idea though. Like, what if I took my hand and made it worse? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it would be adorable. I told you, you can do it. You just cut the hand off. That's not adorable. Let's say it. And then you it's walk different. around on it. Like little ponies' hooves are cute, and uh, amputees are um, unfortunate. Oh, what? oh, I was gonna say, where are you going with this? It's, it's unfortunate. I think even they would, people who have an amputation would agree. Actually, there are people out there that have uh, a disorder mm -hmm. where they basically see some part of their body as wrong. Yeah. And to such a degree that they just feel they have to get rid of it. Uh, like it is like your body is rejecting it phys mentally and physically. And so there are some people that have had their arm removed. Because they said it just, I could, I did, I could not stand my own arm. And so they removed it and they said, I do not regret it. That's I feel extreme. free. Um, thank you, Wero, for, uh, Sonny, for the sub. Oh, 13 months. 14 months. Ooh. ooh. On a 13 month streak. So thank you very much. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, and you are very cool. Thank you. Um, no, there was, uh, there was somebody that their eyes. Oh, come on. They literally made, went and had uh, uh, some stuff done to make them go blind. And Why, who would ever let them do that? I don't know, but but they said afterwards, I do not regret it. 
it felt like something that has been nagging at me my entire life is gone. Yeah, but I feel like in that situation, if somebody wants to remove their arms or remove their eyes, you don't help them. You send them to a therapist. But are they? But but is that something that can be solved? What if it's You're, a physical? They're trying to hurt themselves. But, but no, like, but, but so most of those people, it's an actual detriment. disorder. Yeah, I and, get that. And but it's. But they, yeah, they they went through it. Well, and if they don't, then they're just going to do it themselves. Yeah, but I don't know who would help them blind themselves. Well, no, I know. I'm pretty sure you could. You you don't need people to help you blind yourself. No, you don't. But I don't like who. Ooh. I, no, but there is. Like, but but it's because and most people that have had legitimately had the disorder have said that they just they don't they never don't regret it. They never regret it. I mean, it's not like it's a cool fad. If you're blinding yourself, Sir Edward, or... or, or maybe, yeah, don't blind yourself, kids. Yes, that's really hurting yourself. Do not blind yourself, no matter... Uh, do I have that disorder? Let me check. Nope. <laughs> yes. And, oh, God. And if you do, like, let's let's take a second and have some considerations before you no, but if they, yourself the rest of your life. The way I see it, though, is that's what... If, yeah, if but that's then they're going to need help the rest of their life. Like you're not just good. You're, that's just a, that's not a burden you're just gonna put on yourself. That's a burden you're gonna put on like whoever now has to basically do everything for you. Why do they need somebody? You're because saying that somebody is starve. Why? You... You're saying that blind people can't feed themselves? I'm not saying they can't. No, you just did. It's harder, a lot. No, harder. most people can survive. There's there was a kid that was blind. Yeah, and he could, could he could ride a bike. Because you would, you could literally echolocate with clicks. Okay. Yeah. So like, you just because somebody has a disability doesn't mean that suddenly that now other people have to go out of their way to help them. I mean, it maybe they the do, maybe they don't. The disability, I but imagine. but dis disability doesn't mean disabled. It means that they have they have something that might make things more difficult, but it doesn't mean that they're not capable of doing good things and being able to take care of themselves, Michael. No, I'm sure, but I imagine there would be a heck of a challenge involved. Yeah, and now that's their challenge to figure out. And they can be all the stronger for it. Is it really hurting themselves if it was a proper and safe medical procedure? No, not really. Well, you could say disfiguring in some way, but again, if that's the, it's, you'd have to watch. I watched some video about it. It was kind of interesting. Um, anyone helping a blind person is probably going to get paid for their time anyway. Depends. Um, but again, like look, look at uh, look at Daredevil. <laughs> this is a not a true story. He's doing he's doing fine. For, he's a lawyer. Yes. Lawyers well, don't need eyes. But even in that, he didn't blind himself. I think you for the fall of Lucy the Dragon. Um, did you see his origin story? He yeah. probably, they probably yeah, they did. Story. I saw the uh, Daredevil movie. It's a pretty lame origin story, really. <laughs> One day I woke up, and my house was full of gasoline. It didn't start on fire, just full of gasoline. Yes. And then I, I, I pulled out the pump, but I was blind. Yeah, I think it was pretty much just he got sprayed with weird chemicals and they got it got into his eyes and blinded him. That was pretty much it. There was a doggy. There's a doggy. Oh my god! There was. Oh, I kind of want to. I kind of want to read this message I got from my HOA. Oh boy. It was. It was funny. This is why you don't forward messages that were already sent by other people. Mm -hmm. Uh. Because this person was not happy, but they have no place to play or to go anything. Okay, right, here we go. So, um, hi, hi, blah, blah, blah. Asking for your blessing to again apply preen, a topical pre-emergent in the rock beds of my side of the association. I have volunteered to do so in early spring for many years, even doing blah, blah, blah presidency uh, with his approval. So the guy that ran the thing before. This product has been highly successful in preventing ugly, unsightly weed growth. It has also eliminated the need to eventually spray weed poison chemicals multiple times during the summer months. I have paid out of pocket in the past and it would be appreciated if the association would reimburse me this year. Would the association consider this? I would like to do this as soon as possible. Please let me know. Thank you. No. Per the per our association rules, our it is the individual owner's responsibility to handle weed on the grounds. Yeah. So this person is saying, "Can you pay me for doing what I'm supposed to do myself?" 
and she's been playing it to the grounds. So the, the association responds, you can do at your own expense to the area around your unit and your unit only. We are aware of complaints that residents regarding this in the past. If there are any issues, contact the board. Then she says, I was informed, or no, the, the board responded a week later. I was informed that at 6.40 p.m. yesterday, you were putting weed killer down without asking permission from the owner. It was caught on a security camera. You were specifically told that you had to have permission for doing so. Please list the address that you did this to, and if you had their permission, the board will discuss what action to because take. Because that stuff will kill grass and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's not just weed. Then she she says, several neighbors also wanted to know why I wasn't being re reimbursed by our association. I paid out of pocket for $300. You are welcome. <laughs> it sounds like a nightmare. Uh, and, oh, no, this is the best. Um, who, who did I miss? Yesterday at 640, I finished putting down a blah, blah, blah location. Yes, I did have their permission. I did my due diligence to did what asked by going door to door and talking to my neighbors. I got no objections. Who did I miss? I would like to know who did have an objection. Several neighbors also wanted to know. Uh, and then that's the response uh, of that one. Um, yeah. uh, thankfully, uh, I'm not on the list because she never came to talk to me. But I thought I saw her. She probably by. didn't actually talk to half the people um, she claimed to. Uh. Yeah, and then they had to, they basically went and just regave like a whole like here's the rules, please stop that. And it was I love her thing of like she didn't ask for permission, and then she's like, "You're welcome. You're welcome. Give me money." Um, yeah, I think it's I thought that was hilarious. It's like but, me going onto somebody else's lawn, mowing it, and being like, "Pay me now." No, it's like the genetic seeds. Yeah, where they're like like the the your neighbor used genetically modified seeds, and now your plants are modified with them. Like, oh, you gotta pay me now. Oh yeah. That's a, that was actually a thing for a while. You can't you really gr take seeds from stuff because I think that's um, they're under patent, like the genetics, which is like a whole. Oh yeah, um, I, I think India when... they were talking about how the somebody took the potato seeds that Lay's use. They said they got a hold of the potato seeds that Lay's uses to make their potatoes, and the Lay's found out and like sued all these farmers and like, wow, you're suing people for growing food. That's great. I can understand that they put the time and money into it that, you know, they maybe need money back to be able to develop more things like such. And they should keep selling their chips. But you're also, uh, it calls into question, can you uh, patent genetic code? Like, if they find the code for guaranteeing blue eyes, could they patent it? And then, if you have a child... You passed on that gene. You owe them, Do you, you owe, owe them money for having a child? Yeah. Like it legitimately brings up some interesting uh, discussion on that. Uh, but at least for seeds, yeah, and that's why, like at the end of the season, they have to basically toss any seeds they have, and they have to buy all new ones. Actually, I wouldn't say the HOA sounds crazy in that situation he was describing. No, the woman it sounds, sounds like, crazy. Yeah, the woman's crazy. In the HOA. Well, is trying she's to stop her. she says pay me for something I didn't ask you to do. Because people like it, even though the actual document states it is not their problem. If the only time they will do anything is at your expense. So if she wants to go and do that for other people, then she has to go to those owners and get money, not from the association. And it was just, I just love the, you are welcome at the end. Like most of the people around us are like fifties and sixties. So this is just some old woman that has a lot of some, free time. She has a lot of free time and apparently placing down weed killer is the most exciting thing she does in the entire goddamn year. Does sound like fun. It was just it was a funny text message when I got it. Like I, every now and then they just send a text out to the association. It's because somebody did something really stupid and they have to respond to it. Like the one person that uh complained to the uh, complain to the police in regards to um, a certain type of or a, a, a barbecue that was in a certain spot. Instead of going to the association, they went to the fire department, and because of such, now the association has to enforce rules that they weren't enforcing before. That basically affected everybody and screwed a lot of people over, including the person that made the original complaint. So they did it to get somebody else to stop doing something, and now they had to stop doing something they were doing, and it, because now the government's looking at it. So it's just, it's, associations are so fucking stupid. It's hilarious. They're useful in situations like this place where everybody kind of shares walls and stuff. But yeah, it, yeah, but they only have so much authority on stuff too. But, uh, but it's still it's just funny. Oh, 
one day I come from from work and my gravel driveway was covered in green seeding and fertilizer. On my door was a bill for fifteen hundred from the service that did it. Well, yeah, but you don't. You, if you don't have a signature, uh, well, if you're in an association, you maybe. Um, but that's why you go to HOA meetings. Uh, but um, but some random person shouldn't be able to go through there. Yeah, sir Edward. Uh, that would be nice if you could just like take a cherry pit out of your cherry and go in the back and plant a bunch of cherries and then try to sell them at the farmer's market. But if the company that sold those cherries found out you did that, they can they can sue you if they have a copyright on the seed. But if you went to a market and do it, I'm pretty sure that the ability for them to do the genetic testing to figure that out would be so difficult that they're probably yeah. not worth it. They probably wouldn't do it, but I think with the Lay's chip situation, potatoes, it got, oh, yeah. like a lot of the farmers in the area were using it because it was a good potato. You, you can't prove this is your cherry. That cherry, uh, the, the, the cherry is blue. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's my blue cherry. Yes, I, I made them. My lady. I take it back. She sounds crazy. It was just people with too much time on their hands. Yeah. I, I've had some aunt and uncles like that. Uh, the neighbor didn't like my driveway and called the service and they tried to bill me. The service ended up having to remove all the all my gravel and pl replace it at their cost. Why are why would a neighbor have like, an opinion? You know Kyle's neighbor. Yeah, well, they calling called the cop. He's Kyle's neighbor calls the cop on him so much for noise complaints that uh, he knows many of the cops like when they show up because they, they're like you're not making noises and he has Red Bull ready to just give that to him. He's like, hey, you want a Red Bull again? They're like, sure. To be, <laughs> I, I think she's a bit much, but at the same time, I was a little worried we would have noise complaints called on us last night. Oh uh, no! Ever since I bitched her out for the one time because she complained that I was walking. Yeah, too loud. Yeah, I was walking too loud. And uh, and I was like, nope. Yep. And uh, I told her, unless she wants to f uh, pay me for the removal of my own feet, uh, that she can just leave my property. <laughs> ever since. Um. How do I? What do I? I still don't know how I want to deal with Pinky here. I just want her breathing heavily. Like she's excited and she wants to see what's going to happen next. I could have her like kind of breathing heavy, but then like look at Rainbow and then look back at Fluttershy real quick. <laughs> she wants to see if Rainbow's gonna do something. Yeah, like um, you know, I'll, I'll show an example of what I'm thinking. I thought there was a big spider. It was a dust bunny. It's almost been an hour. I can get another drink soon. Um, something like, <laughs> she's, she's like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, just... And then, and oh wait, and then, uh, I don't do. I mean, in my, my experience with houses, houses though, if you're not fighting over like too much noise, you're fighting over property lines. There's always something. Here, how about this? Hmm. Okay, okay, yes, the audio is working now. So. Awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Is that, do you think that works? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Like, Since Pinky is in. Okay. She's, she's excited. Okay, I gotta get rid of it. Okay. There we go. No, Alright. The seed makes seeds, and then those seeds are my seeds. Uh, no, actually, by law, for many farmers that have genetic material, no, they're not. It's uh, it's kind of stupid, and the seeds get or can be pricey. I think the one time I heard things work in the benefit of farmers was when a wheat company, I can't remember, out somewhere, they were genetically modifying a, a wheat plant so that it would grow sterile, so that they would sell the seeds, it would grow the plant, and then the seeds that came off that plant would be sterile. They wouldn't be able to be used for the next crop, so they'd have to go back to the place to buy more seeds. And they're like, sure, you can do that. You're allowed to do whatever you want. That's yours. Problem was, the pollen from those plants was blowing off or being carried away and getting onto the nearby farmers who did replant their seeds every mm -hmm. year from the crop. 
and now all of a sudden like a portion of their crop was sterile and they're like they can't keep doing this like it's destroying us and they there was a lot of litigation involved um basically and it, it w and you think it would be a sure thing to make them stop uh making plans like that can that can cross pollinate well, hello, pretzel. oh yay hey there ray hey there ray's bye bye derpy she ran away. Thank you very much, Luna Presso. How's Luna doing? Um, hello, keyboard cat. Um, copywriting literal plants is capitalism for you. Well, it's not. You're not copywriting the plant. You're copywriting the genetic code. And if you're selling a plant with that genetic code or the genetic modifier, then yes, it, it is. I can. The one one defense I could give for a company doing that though is a genetically modified plant is probably going to be controlled and because of how evolution works and all that you don't know what over time that genetic modification might do so by growing the plant and then next year having them make and make sure it's the same thing again means that you have a controlled thing and not suddenly have something come out of nowhere i could see that being a reason but that also sounds like lawyers speak for we're going to get away with it so mm -hmm. but there's always a defense I'm waiting for when they can just start growing bacon. Ooh. Yeah, well, like I don't know. They have like the bon trees. Beyond Meat stuff now. So Some like pretty good, yeah. because of that, like uh, that one, the Francis uh, the, at Sociables has uh, meatless bacon. You can get a bacon burger. I, I haven't tried it and I don't know how good it is, but I might do that next time we go drinking because I definitely don't want to get food at that other if place. If we go to Indeed, Indeed, yeah. It's like 40 bucks for a chicken sandwich and tater tots. Yeah, you know, it was, it was a good sandwich, but I, nah, not worth it. The drinks were good, and I like the atmosphere. But yes, I think going to eat... Or, not for food. Or um, Uber Eats or something. Something. I want to try to find some other place, but I do like that one a lot. My define now that I got... To, Get to tune into a stream. Well, thank you for showing up. Yes, yes. I hope you're doing well in RL. RL? It's the world outside the void. Oh. Does it have ponies? No. Well, well on TV. Mm. Well, that's not... I, that's not there, though, is it? I don't like this RL place you speak of. Gives me goosebumps. I think I might not. He didn't get it, guys. He missed my joke. Nope. But I am sad that I don't not have my Stein to drink. Ah, I got it! Yay! I'm happy. Um, you see, it's genetically immune to the new chemicals. Kind of. Uh, it's anything you genetically modify to be something like that all all it's going to do is teach the bugs to find a way around it well uh, life finds a way government won't uh won't find out about the one time i grew an orange tree from a seed i found in an orange <laughs> oh no they know they they put the they put a camera in the orange mm -hmm. that's how they get you uh, uh, thank you for the follow zmr uh what's up y'all not much how is you doing I hope you were having a fantastic day. I th I think I need Pinky to move a bit more. She can move like this. Move she needs to move enough. Working on your web comic. Well, that sounds nifty. Ooh, web comic. Those well, sound like comics were always like I don't know how artists do those because it's like. You know it's hard drawing a picture. But you know it's easier drawing eighteen of that picture. Like, well, if you're good. I mean, yeah, if you're good, sure. But like, it, like it's Bambi still it's so much time for. It's like you're making lots of art for one art. I did that. Okay, touche. <laughs> like, what do you mean? You've been working on this for how long? I know. And it's gonna be what a minute long when you're done. Excuse you, forty-one seconds. <laughs> well, I was that thinking about credits. You're gonna make them run extra slow and long. And it's going to have that song. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, it's probably usually they're about 15 seconds. So it'd be close to a minute. I wish I could break a minute. Uh, it doesn't not like it matters because usually that's because of revenue and Copa is probably going to just consume the shit out of it anyway. <sighs> gotta, gotta have some positive thoughts. Nope. So I'm just going to do all Rathalo stuff now. 
Big old scaly lizard. Hey, they can't really mark that one for kids. How is that rifle is not for kids? Like, he eats, it's Monster he eats Hunter, not a kids game? Uh, I don't know what it's rated. It, it's, I don't know, actually. I mean, but it's probably not for kids, so. Ponies do more messed up stuff than that dragon ever did. Pretty sure that. What? I'm pretty sure that purple one back there ate a guy. This one did. Yeah, most definitely. I'm using the skin. Yes. The, the cupcakes. Delicious. <laughs> She's looking at Rainbow Dash like, mmm, cupcake. Cupcake. Okay, I need to reduce your smile a little bit here. Okay, there we go. Dude, um, and writing a co cohesive plot. Ooh, that's uh -huh. that's a double duty. <laughs> I use it. It's a duty. Yeah, you did. Um, as so we are working on animation, we're mostly done. I'm going to get another drink. Cool. What are we still having there? Those. Hmm. There's uh, one of those one nine percent sours still in there. If you like that, actually, I did not try that one. I will bring it to you. Sure. Follow a coffee stout with a fruity beer. Yes, I really like that one. I had a. Uh, it's one of the the Guinness Nitro cold brews. They're so good. Still kind of. Short on sleep, so I thought, you know what? I'm uh, I'm gonna have another coffee. <laughs> but the audits actually, because I've, I've been in an audit this week, so like it's been because we I had that la yesterday, then I ran home to do the podcast recording, and then I went to work again today to run home to do this, so I really haven't had any me time for like since I know I had about an hour after podcast last night, but um. It's been uh, been a busy couple days, but the audit's going well. The section that was uh, my responsibility uh, had no findings and actually was marked down as a positive or a best in class uh, business practice and got positive accolades um, to many people much higher level than me. So very good for me. So, victory, sour monkey, sour tripel. I don't know why it's tripel. Is it? Is it, is it, is it? I don't know. Oh yeah, it does go straight. I gotta back off for the light. It's got monkeys in it. Or can I just open the sour ones? Nope. Okay. Well, anyways, yes. It's got monkeys. Monkey don't see. Well, that does sound smell very sour. But nine point. Ale with added spice. I like what, it. What does that mean? Uh, it's different. Oh, it's very sour. Kind of, ooh. Kind of apple-y. Yes. I think that's a sour apple. Oh, probably. Um, alright, got a stupid face. But, uh, we, we need a horse sunset. You got a, you got a horse? Oh, this is a horse... I thought you were using the, those NATO letter communication phrases when you read that beer name. Uh, no, it's like tr sour tripel. I don't know what that means. Only, only great, knowledgeable elders of the mountain. The stream's still going. Oh, like no. Streamlabs just messaged me and said stats for your stream, and I'm like, it's still going, right? I'd hope you all would tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Like, ha he's finally on Argo to sleep I'm faking it. Sleep Argo OC sleep deprived. Okay. Usually I'm okay by like <laughs> evening, but like the last couple of mornings have been like Oh. Um I had to stay up late Sunday night to uh get the podcast set up because I was um 
unsure if I was going to be home or not if I'm Monday. And then last night, by the time we get done and everything, it's usually close to midnight. Um, cause we do the podcast till like about nine o'clock, but then everybody's had a few drinks. So they stick around, we watch a movie and stuff. So it's that OC that confuses the heck out of me. Cause too cool. Well, cause it's like, I have the strange wish to boop it on the nose, but it's a stallion, right? It's an Argo. <laughs> Look at that horse. It's an Argo. It is. See, got a very it's like wave your hand snoop. if you're an Argo. He ain't got a hand. That's a hoof. It's like, it's, it's a, actually, he's like double Argo. Wait, that's, that's kind of cute, but it's a stallion and torn. It's like that one episode of Futurama where Leela. Oh no, that's cute. I don't know. It's, it's, it's looking away. I know. Who <laughs> stop this? You, my body is confused. All right, so I do sleep deprived. Um, how are we gonna make him sleep deprived? Hmm. Um. Show him drinking coffee and being sleeps. I had three cups of coffee yesterday morning because I was so tired. This morning I was better, but like, I was bad yesterday. Big coffee. Oh yeah, you need a big, big coffee. You could be in coffee. Well, I, I cleared all the stupid faces to a different file. Um. No, Sir Edward. <laughs> It's not my fault. It's like that episode of Futurama where Leela dresses up as a soldier, and I'm just Zab Brannigan. He's like wondering what kind of new lotion to like use that the soldiers using, because their their snoot is super cute. I like I said, I'm confused. <laughs> it's very upsetting. Hi, Luna. Okay, so I know this is not going to turn out right. It will not. Because I know what you're doing. And it is wrong. It's very long. To... It actually turned out better than I thought. It's like, it's like a mare that just trimmed off their eyelashes. It's madness. No. I was tricked. The snoot. Look at the snoot. It's so round. I was framed. Oh, you're, you're, yeah, like horn. Too much coffee. Okay. I did, want, I did see a comic not too long ago where I had Luna on coffee and she apparently went, traveled through time and like dug up her own grave and that is of her sisters there so uh, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna fix it a little bit so we'll <laughs> oh, of course it's long Oh, that's got to go do everything. Okay, so doesn't really, you know, the, the long legs. That's that just happens. Um, yeah, it's for me, too much broccoli. To poop or not to poop? That is the question. Yes. Okay, so here we go. That's a little better. So now, now this is this is a little good. It's, he's uh, he's gonna be up forever. Forever and ever. I just realized that he doesn't actually blink. Well, he needs to blink anymore. When you got so. <laughs> I have reached Nirvana. Do you like the coffee? He's, he's like. really want that caffeine <laughs> no it's upsetting because that too is cute oh, that is cute 
<laughs> no. It's adorable. It's driving me into madness. Maybe you could turn the eyelashes back on. Uh, I don't think I actually can. They are because the model has them removed because... Who did that? I know you didn't do that. No, this is a custom model made by uh, Bearded Doom Guy. Why did Bearded Doom Guy give you a female model? Because back then, the male models were the worst thing ever. They still are. <laughs> no, they were like... None of the facial features worked. They were so bad. Uh, it, actually, you know what? I know how to fix this. Well, for one, we're going to fix the things there. That's better. Uh, but... Uh, Oh no, big gulp. Big, big gulp. <laughs> He's eating the cup. <laughs> this one, her whole, the whole mouth is around the cup. It's... Actually, that size is pretty close to like, a, maybe like that. That's probably what I get in the morning when I go to work. Uh, they have a deal at the at the gas station that I go to, it's like six dollars a month, but then you can go there once a day for a coffee. Uh, any any number of days, cost wise, after about four to five days, you get your money back, and then after that, it's just basically free coffee. So since I'm going in all this day this week, I just did it. Um, and yeah, so I I go get my big coffee. Mm. Oh. Was about to explode. Everybody's standing back. You know he's. He's okay. I mean, <laughs> that look what coffee did to him. He's become strunk. <laughs> His legs. He's even got a magical horn. It's turning him into an alicorn. It's all. all, all he can't all stop him. Magic. Actually, uh, I know what. This is. I know a better way of doing this. Oh. It's coffee. It's like a crash in the internet. All the internet's going down. All the tubes. There we go. Ah, uh, coffee. That just no. This is like, it's like, no, it's like around. It's, it's bizarre coffee. We need more coffee. We need more coffee. Mm -hmm. This is like, oh. Uh, that we should sniff that coffee. Need more coffee. So, just uh, just eat the cup. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 He's like, uh... There we go. Okay. Well, there we go. We got... Fantastic. Argo's awake now. Like me, who's already drank half their beer. I'm working on it. I, I prefer to enjoy the things that I consume. What's up with that? What's up with that? I'm definitely more of a darker, nuttier beer fan, though. I like it as long as it's not too hoppy. Oh, no. I, no hops. Not, nothing at all. That's why I don't touch IPAs and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I like tart and sour things. I like tart and sour, but not in a... I don't think as much in a beer. Like, that raspberry one wasn't that sour to me. No. Um, it was more of just a less sweeter Well, you expect flavor. raspberry to be, like, sour. So if you see raspberry, you're expecting it, I think, is part of it. Okay. I'm going to have... I'm going to have uh, Pinky kind of lean forward to do the, the head shake thing. But to do that, I, I'm not going to have uh, keyframe her head nod. I can do that in, like post or something or not post in um like had a freehand so all i need right now is access to her shoulders and after that is i just need her to be moved into the position so i'm gonna have her twist a little bit 
and um, now I'm going to lock those thighs. I'm going to twist it a bit more. And we'll just twist that a bit more. Not too, I can't twist just too, no, I can twist just too a bit. Should be good. Uh, oh, she needs to go down a little bit. Yeah, what he doesn't realize is that I switched his coffee with dirty sock filtered coffee. Your coffee. Which coffee? Because I make my own coffee. The coffee under the sink. There's no coffee under the sink. Well, besides the sink, where you keep coffee. Well, you apparently you don't know where it is. Yeah, well, it's full. It's... And I don't keep coffee under the sink. Well, it... the coffee has got socks in it. The coffee beans? Yes. Because I opened it. I, I saw it. Yeah. I filtered it all through socks. No, you didn't. Because you didn't even know where the hell it was. I'm trying to... <laughs> What he doesn't realize is I switch Argo's regular coffee with my dirty sock filtered coffee. There you go. See, it's not even voice impressions anymore. You're just making him say whatever you want him to say. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's not voice impressions. It's I want uh, I want my new Michael, uh, Michael voicemail. Leave a message at the tone. No, the was it tone? you don't make the tone. The the, the machine makes the tone. Now I make the tone, and then it makes another tone. I love the messages where it's like, Le leave a message after the beep, and then you hear, it, then it's positive for a second, then a lady says, if you'd like to leave a message. <laughs> like, where's the beep? I want the beep. A sock filter. Every, every, all drinks taste better through socks. It's true. The fact. The sock fact. <laughs> no, no more of your stupid facts. All right, plushies need socks. It's a, it's a real shame some of them have cold hooves. Is that why they wear socks? Yes, the guy keeps their. It's hooves. only because they're cold. Yes. You have a, you have a plush oh, with a sock. Socks. Do I? Yeah. Well, yeah, the one you bought me. Yes. <laughs> I needed those socks. But it came with the socks. Yeah. Still needs them. It's very important. I think the, what, uh, the first thing I ever sent Jay was actually a pair of socks for like his new Rainbow Dash plush years and years and years ago. His socks are forever important. It'd be like somebody that's allergic to peanut but peanuts and you like you buy them peanut butter and then you're like, why'd you buy peanut butter or you know, why'd you buy peanut butter? Like, I don't know. Why did you buy peanut butter? It's like, you bought it for me. Yeah. I'm like, nope, nope, it's yours nope. now. So why'd yep. you do that? You did. No. I, I'm just saying. I'm, you, allerg you I'm allergic to the, the socks. No. I'm, I'm allergic to socks. Well, it's awkward. <laughs> Wearing socks. Oh, she actually, socks. Oh, she actually going down. I thought, uh, I thought that was going to be a stretch. I have to actually compress. How to snap. Honks ankles 101. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, that is kind of what I do. Is I do break legs a lot. I also break necks. I made a meme about it. A lot of people have been saying it's Pinky's birthday. Is it actually like Pinkie Pie Day? It's got to be Pinkie Pie Day or something. Okay, good. I thought you were going to look at your phone and immediately know the answer, and that would have scared no, me. I got to go to Question Daily. They're going to have it up. If they do. They'll be the ones that, like, they're the ones who keep track of that nonsense. Content, man. They need content. Yeah. They do, but they're still kind of picky about who they advertise. Awesome! Awesome! No, they're not saying anything about, like, a Pinkie Pie birthday. Oh, paranoia. Um, yeah, yeah, but it's, uh... Just gonna type Pinkie Pie birthday. Pie day. 7th of October. Pinkie Day is October 7th. Why are you guys saying it's Pinkie oh. Pie Day? Oh. Pinkie Pie's birthday. 
Oh, is it the day that's... Oh, is it Andrea Littman's birthday? Isn't it? It'll say on, like, her wiki. Nope. No. Oh, my God. She's born the same year as me. She Yeah, she's uh, one year you're older than me. And then one year, a few days. Um... And she oh, had to be a according to the Hub and Discovery family account, they don't um, count. They don't count. They're not the experts. Yeah, they, yeah. You got to trust a brony. They they know they know more than the original material. Haven't you ever read any like fanfics? Yes, all the fan fiction. Now it can be Pinkie Pie Day. It's fine. <laughs> well. I mean, I wouldn't say it's Pinkie Pie Day. It's, it's Pinkie Pie day. Pinkie's birthday. She essentially gets two Wait, of them. She gets that's essentially two birthdays. She's cheating. It's Pinkie. She that is her thing. That her whole thing is cheating. She cheats physics. Well, wasn't she the one who had like an episode where they were like, it's it's Gummy's half birthday. Like, it's halfway to his birthday, so that's his half birthday. We gotta celebrate that. Michael, no. if you had any excuse to drink and you were able to do that. I don't need an excuse. I just, it just happens. It's like, look, it's a day that uh, started. <laughs> Huzzah. I drink on any day that ends in day. Yes. And the ones that don't. It's the extra special days. That's the ones before and after you die. Yeah. Drink on those days. I'm just gonna can I just yeah mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna play hand in there. Awesome. What is this? Should also be out. There we go. Awesome. Is her mouth slightly open? Yes, that's kind of weird, actually. I'm trying to think, but I think the only birthday they ever celebrated of any of the main six was Rainbows. I can't recall them celebrating anyone else's. Which is kind of weird. Okay, there. Is that kind of creepy? Well, she is creepy. I know, that's what I'm going for. Yes. I think I have the off a little on there. Okay, I'm gonna mark Pinky. So I don't think I've asked yet today, chat. How is everyone today? Is chat doing, doing well? wonderful? I bet you everybody's doing wonderful. Um, sec allergies are like lactose intolerance. You're not supposed to, but you want to. I don't really want to drink um, milk that much. Um, the month of May evidently has eight liquor celebration holidays. Yep. I know Cinco de Mayo is a big one. I don't know if that's to celebrate liquor. That's what people do. Cinco de Mayo is just drink. I think we celebrate it more in the U.S. than they do actually do in Mexico. Just because the beer companies hyped it up so much. This, this feels like it needs a caption. Um... Yeah, something about that one friend. Mod, Mod took off her shirt. Oh no. <laughs> she works for anything. Mm -hmm. I think that I I think I've remembered the meme where it has a bunch of people like behind a person who's like they're all like Ugh, and then there's that one person who's like ah. Oh no, that's my fetish. That's <laughs> that's the meme. I oh, remember that's the meme. now. That's okay. the meme. They were just admitting to something, but okay. <laughs> no. It's like where everybody else is disgusted, but there's just that one friend who's like super excited. Pinky's that one friend. Like biting their lip. Yes. Now they know. Oh, 
It was chicken. He isn't even looking at us. Yes, they have spring allergy. I actually, one of the guys at work uh, today for the, during the audit was talking about that. He says he 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 developed the allergy as he grew as he got older, which I've heard a lot of people have. Here, a lot of that's due to just weakening immune systems and stuff, and just your tolerance for some things reduces as you get older. I feel like actually my spring allergies are not nearly as bad as they used to. I used to have it pretty rough when I was younger. My brother and my dad get hit pretty hard in the spring. I don't. I mean, going outside is kind of required, but I usually have all the windows open. I never have allergies. I've never had allergies of any sort. Um, yeah, I don't have allergies. Just period. Either that, or you're just allergic to everything and in constant pain. <laughs> yes, and I just, I phased it all out. I don't even notice it anymore. You got a stupid face. I got another stupid face. Miss Hello Blur. I am doing well. Now let me just do... Pinkie Pie. You want a Pinkie Pie? Okay. So what is what is uh, what kind of thing are we doing with Pinkie Pie? I think I, normally you'll just say whatever's, and I I'm not having nearly as many RAM issues because I cleared out all the other stupid phases, saved to separate file, and I'm dropped a full gig on RAM. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so we have Pinkie. Punk has no smooth animation at all. Um, but she, oh, not right now. She's working on it, but like, um, she's got some pretty smooth animation here. Like th this, this stuff that's actually done. Uh, this one's mostly done. Uh, this one's not done. This one's done. Well, no, this one's not done because her eyebrows. But, but I really like her here. She's just so freaking crazy. And we have Michael's favorite part. Yeah, I got that, that smirk. That's a good smirk. <laughs> See, that pony is just, she needs boops to reward her for that amazing face. I would be arrested so quickly in that, in that, that horse land. There you go. Michael. No, you're you're Michael. This is super cool. Michael. I need a boop, Michael. I'm going to I'm gonna put a smudge on this guy's screen so I can boop you. She's a poop. Wait, why are there already smudges where the boop nose is? Um, I'll leave it to me. Okay, Michael. Yes. I, I like I, that I'll leave it to you. What is Pinkie Pie? Oh, good. Doing? I've just finished my beer, so this is perfect. You can't play Dark Side of the Moon, can you? What? Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. Probably not. Ah. Oh. Well, I feel like she just needs to be like lying on the ground like semi comatose with a party hat and like a, one of those little blower things because it's her birthday but she's also realized that she's getting older and death approaches albeit slowly so she's she's happy sad <laughs> that should be all it is no animation you can just have her breathing like slowly but heavily you really want to animate it? Yeah, it's good. She's gonna have a nice big hat. And she needs one of those party favors. And some drool. She needs to be drooling on herself. There you go. There you go, Pinky. Hello, shooting star. I'm still a shooting star. Uh, no Eck. How are you both doing? Yes. We're gonna make depressed Pinky. So why, why do you want to make her sad? Oh, because she's short of breath and one day closer to death. I kind of wanted that playing in the background, but like copyrights and being what they are, won't let you play Pink Floyd. Like they gotta be pretty close to not no longer being under copyright with that song, right? I mean, it's been, uh, I don't it's know. Been about forty years. Copyright rules are kind of fucked up. So, man, when Pink Floyd is no longer like under copyright, everybody's gonna use that crap. 
because it's great. That's why I think Fallout like really found their niche. Like all this music from the 1920s is going to get out of copyright. Let's use that. Let's build a game around it. You don't want to go to sleep. Me neither. I don't think that's mine. Good. Okay. It doesn't work if you don't have one of those little party favorite things. I think you punched very much shooting star. There's a lot of derps. Or a kazoo. Can't remember what the name of that thing is. The little thing that you blow on and it like... It's... it's birthday presents. Can you just drape it across her? Like a death shroud? Um, no. Let's just have it lying on the ground in front of her. A party honker? Is that what it's called? I feel like that's not... I feel like that actually is probably what it's called. Probably. I've always just heard them called party favors. I'm going to figure out what the... Well, I think favors is the name of, like, everything. Yeah. I think you're right. I'm going to type in party honker. If I get anything lewd, I, I blame... I blame game mo. Yeah, well, give me like a bicycle horn. What's the party whistle horn? A party horn. Oh. But if you can find a kazoo, that would also work. <laughs> I feel like it's not complete without a ah, sl slang. She's got to have her mouth drooped open and it's just hanging loosely. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to adjust this. I'm going to put like the party banner. Yes. Like, like there. You need um. You could just probably type in party. You like a smush cake. Fish cake. No. Is there any like destroyed cakes? No. Hmm. You do do that and just put it on its side on the ground. One. Got a broken plate. Oh yeah, find the stained plate. Yes. So this has got the thing and then this There you go. One. It's gonna be falling off the plate slightly. Yes. Yes. It just got thrown in front of her. <laughs> I kill you, dumb horse. <laughs> it's your birthday, Pinkie Pie. The internet said so. It's called a party horn. I um, also wanted to thank Nolan uh, for a sub, but he's not here. I still thank you very Going much. Rogue. Oh. Wait, is that a bunch of rogue games? You do like your rogue games. I do like my rogue games. She was <gasps> it is! Cool. Oh, that's why Wildermyth's on sale. I kind of wanted to get that. Um, yeah, you can tell a uh, wish list, wish list. In library, in library, in library. This one I own on Switch. Uh, I thought about getting that one too. Uh, in library and on Switch. In library and on Switch, actually. Uh, yeah, I played Enter the Gungeon. Yeah, that one's bit. a good one. What? Had Jenny Fallen Order is a roguelite? I guess so. Oh, they're putting Souls like in here too. Interesting. Anyway. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people are enjoying the new Stanley Parable, which is great that no, they were able to like revive an old game like that. 
Okay. It's a bucket. Do you not have a kazoo or anything? Mm. I didn't think there was going to be too much with the blame party on it. Uh, oh, that's... That's fine. It's a Freddy's. Why does this picture just terrify me? <laughs> She's deep posing for dominance. <laughs> she, she is the dominant one. Oh, this is just a picture of Tom the Cat. She's a Cisco chicken rig. Okay. Okay. I'm not seeing. Try kazoo. I'm going to try it. Nope, not in there. That was for brown. No kazoos. I'm going to have something in her mouth. Well, that's not that's the wrong kind of kazoo. So what are those things called? Um, Party horn. Yeah, but if I, I can guarantee you that's not going to come up with anything. It's Yeah, it's like... Why is it party fill? Why is there's a purple red, red, wait, unicorn rarity? Wait, I have a horn particle. particle. Well, now they have one. That one looks like crap. Wow, I'm just throwing shade. I feel sorry for you know, whoever put that together. Great effort, but I don't like it. Um, could, uh, maybe you could give her a horn, just like a bicycle horn. It's not as good, but there's got to be party a party streamer. Horn. Well, I, I search the word party and it should come up with anything. It's got to be something she can hold in her mouth. I'd be really surprised if there wasn't already a bicycle horn in the game. Yeah, probably. At least some kind of a horn. I feel like the only one that would actually work is TF2 related, though. No, no, I'm thinking Half-Life 2. Because I'm thinking there was bicycle horns in that nope. game. How? Nope. There's most definitely bicycle horns in Half-Life 2. But you gotta put something in your mouth. You got a Pocky stick? I do have confetti. But you can't put that in your mouth. I mean, I could, but... It wouldn't be right. I think... You can't put some confetti on the ground, though. So this... I think I made this confetti model. I can't remember, but I think I did. It was back when I had a lot more drive for putting in, like, nuance work into things. Um, I still don't mind here and there, but it's a very different thing now. Putting, like, hours of work into something that nobody notices is a little depressing. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So we're just gonna... I just want to, like, build a scene that's kind of depressing. That's fair. Like a party that nobody showed up to. Yes, that's what happened here. It's like, it's like everybody forgot it was her birthday, and she's just sad. See. I'm really surprised there's not a party horn, because you'd think there'd be something in TF2. Something. Seeing if I can get away with um, oh, adding, spider kid. adding a little bit of grass. And then we can post it on Twitter saying, Happy birthday, Pinky. Yes. Still sad that I couldn't find something to stick in her mouth. Make her seem extra sad. You can do that in your own time. So if I do this and this and this uh, party whistle, yeah, I got it. That's why I searched the word party because I was thinking if I search the word party, I'm just gonna get everything. 
Well, everything party related. Did you look at everything party? Uh, not the ones that I currently have, but um, most of them. Or actually, no, I didn't. But I'm just gonna say it because it's because you don't I, wanna. No, because for the things that I have seen before, I'm just pretty sure I'm not gonna find anything. I'm really actually surprised because TF2 tends to have a lot of party stuff. Um, yeah, but I remember I'm running a version of TF2 from probably God knows how many years ago. To update. No. Updating is scary. <laughs> but think of all the hats you could have. Cool. Well, thank you, thank you Hot Rod, for it's the sub. Odd. Hello, Argo. Hello, Michael. Hello, chat. 15 months. Let go. Like, don't let go. Oh, it says let's go. Okay. Let's I thought go. I... Had to go. But thank you very much. I hope you are doing very well. Okay, so I need 23, 8, 23. There we go. Let's see if I can put this like here. I think if I turn the lights on, yeah, it darkens the grass. So. Um. Um. Hello, hi, Night Harmony sixty nine. How are you doing? She's such a sad horse. Ants are gonna get cake. I'm gonna fix the grass edge too here. <laughs> she turned 25. She's middle aged. <laughs> I hope that hurt everyone's soul. Cause horses. Yes. 25 is middle aged, right? Yes. You're officially old? Yes. Sure. We can we can look at that uh, Iran uh, like uh, no because we're old, but there's somebody out there who's watching who's like 19 like, "Yeah, 25's right around the corner. I'm going to be old soon too." And then we um we leave them and it uh, it's you're not old until you use the phrase did I used to droop? <laughs> uh oh. Like that used to be somewhere else. Moved. Or or when you can see the hair move from your your top of your head to your back. I did that a long time ago. I didn't even reach twenty five before I started doing that. Did I used to eat sand? Yes. It is a well-known fact that all old people eat sand. Helps keep them uh, regular. Right now. She looks so sad. <laughs> Poor Pinky. Keep making p pony animations, King. I... Don't plan to stop anytime soon, unless YouTube tells me otherwise. They're making it hard. They are making it very hard. Oh, just stick a candle in her mouth. Do you have, like, a candle? Like, there's a slice of cake, but then I don't have... Oh, I need more cake for her. Oh, no, I, I will... Because I want to put it one on the... If she just has a slice of cake, that's one thing. But if there was a cake on the table, that implies that there were supposed to be more people. Yeah. And that's sad. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, but I wanted a piece missing, but whatever, it can be applied, it's on the back side. Can you stick a candle in her mouth you know and what? light it? If there had to be an artist that did this in 3D, who do you think it would be? In 3D? If it wasn't me who made this picture, or say this was a drawn picture, who do you think would have made oh, it? Oh no, it would be Witch Taunter. Yep, <laughs> I was going to say it's definitely Witch Taunter. Because <laughs> he likes making depressed horses. Um... Keep, 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 uh, the car's running, the AC is off, let this happen. <laughs> yes, just let it happen. No. Um. Save Fluttershy. I'm gonna add some uh, more confetti here. <laughs> She's just in that car looking so adorable. I'm just gonna let her die. So I'm gonna just grab the other confetti, there's one with it spread out, this one's, uh... I feel like she tried to make the party go by herself, but then after, like, an hour... Of trying to make it happen, she just like this is before Twilight showing up. 
She but, just she literally had no friends before then. This is the episode of Party of One where they her friends actually did just like forget about her. Is there a meetup on the fourteenth? That's um, yes, there is still meetups going on. I, um, we haven't been to one in a while, though. Doesn't um, mean we can't go. But um, I'll have to see because it's that's one of my few days off. Man, if charging's go. go hmm? My thought is if charging is going, I don't maybe because I have I have to meet a coworker on like some Wednesday or Thursday that week um, for other stuff and. It's gonna be a, it's like something going on every night. But um Oh, she's not uh I'm gonna get rid of her um where's her head? Where are you pinky? There you are. Um Should I just get rid of her eyebrows? Nah, they're fine. Oh no, because I should add like Alright, that's fine. There you go. No, I think the blink stare is better. Okay. Like that. Oh, so, I, don't I still know. think she needs like a candle or uh, some sort of like something. Just hanging loosely out of her mouth. Gotta find some. The the reason that no none of those little like party things exist is because what do people do with them? Uh, um, do you have like a candle? Why would she put a candle in her mouth? Because she's sad. It could be lit. Hold on. I know. I know. I know exactly what she needs. Need something. Oh. <laughs> yes, this is a cyanide model. Never know. Well. Well, let's, uh... I think I just did that wrong. So, okay, now I can do that. That's like there. <laughs> Poor Pinky. <laughs> she looks so sad. I like that one DWK episode. It's like, then why didn't you just tell me? Because, Pinky, despite your outward appearance, you're the most emotionally fragile creature on the planet. <laughs> the slightest thing will set you off and drive you into a deep depression. It's true. She's so bright. I might just make this like kind of evenly lit. Ooh. You know what? Let me try grabbing this one. I feel like that's a reference. This oh, I have to say, um, oh, sing lounge lizard style. Not hundred percent sure what that is, but I assume a lizard's involved. Um I see you later, Harry. So I'm gonna be a lizard. Be like, the party's over. It's time to call it a day. They've burst your pretty what? balloon and taken nice. their cake away. A lizard. <laughs> your hands um, are doing lizard. Yes. Uh, it's time to wind up the masquerade. Just make your mind up. The ban must be paid. Uh, did I lounge lizard, lizard it properly? I, I was a lizard. My lizard. See, that's, that's my lizard. Isn't that sad Minecraft music in the background? What is sad Minecraft music? Is that a genre? <laughs> Slight version, slight variation on the Nat King Cole song, "The Party's Over." How was my version? That's that's the important question. Did I did I lizard it up properly? I, I need I need your critique, Sunset. Look how sad you've made that horse. Um. 
Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna call that good. So we're gonna... Okay, so that should process. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that in this one too. Just to make sure. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, it's time to have a happy birthday. We have one every year. We eat a lot of broccoli and drink a lot of beer. Why do you know the weird, obscure, weird? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Well, then you can eat the Wallaby Crisp Critters after World War Three. A couple million years, we're going to crash into the sun, but that isn't a reason why we shouldn't have a little fun. So if you're feeling happy and it's more than you can take, just blow out the candles and have a piece of cake. You can't remember where you put your goddamn socks. But you can remember a s whatever the hell that is. Go along, kids. Sing along, okay? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it's it's Pinkie Pie's birthday. Why aren't you singing the birthday song? There we go. Okay. Well, no, no, hold on. We got birthday. Birthday horse. Let's see his birthday. And Pinkie Pie's birthday. Thank you. Person who sings... Uh, Las Vegas Lounge is an entertainment. There are big lizards in New Vegas. Like, the party's over. It's time to call it a day. They pushed your pretty balloons and taken the cake away. It's time to wind up the masquerade. Just make your, up your mind. What's the band must be paid. I think it's some variation on that King Cole, apparently. Oh. I, I, I am, I am bad. Oh, you're re actually songs. reading something. Okay, yes. I thought you were just like. I'm, 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 I'm trying to give a Sunset what they want, but I'm awful. Well, yeah, but they kind of expect that. <laughs> In your professional experience, that sucked. Well, fantastic. Now that sounded pretty damn good, but there was no lizard involved, Sunset. Like, there was no lizard in that version. It wasn't as good. And the liz lounge lizards need the lizard sounds, like hisses and, and, na and, the, and, the, and the gnashing of teeth and the running away when somebody grabs your tail and you break your tail off. Whatever sound that makes. I'm actually not sure. Probably s snap, crackle, something. And pops. No, we did that in the podcast. Yes, that's how they died. So I'm just gonna clean up Pinky a little bit because it's very important. She's just gotta be. She gotta look great for her, her best day ever. Yes, so it's best, her the best day. So her I've mouth's kind of broken. We're gonna. Fix it's that. fine. So that's. A lot of things are broken in Pinky right now. All around me are familiar horses, worn out horses. Okay, so there's Pinky. Yes. I have to go post that on the Twitters now and, and celebrate Pinkie Pie's birthday. Everyone forgot. So do I remove that side like this or nah? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Wow, like she hasn't already had enough of a hard day without um, calling her a demon. I'll see where I put it in here. Somewhere. That's where it's crap. I like the here. bunny hops. Wait, is, I put it on her. Oh, this is her gifts. That's, I thought you put it in a folder all by itself. Oh, no, oh there, there it we is. go. Okay, for one, I need to, um, I want to see if I can find the tweet. Um, is there a hashtag being used? Just a hashtag Pinkie Pie. Okay. Okay. Funkest of the piest. 
gonna hashtag Pinkie Pie it? There's a little party one. Give us a there we go. Cowboy. Um. Pinkie Pie. Hashtag birds aren't real. Um. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think about what else could be. My little pony. No. I mean, I can hashtag MLP. The, the doing when people add like seven hashtags to me, it's like at that point just distracting. Like, it's bad. <laughs> There, she's happy birthday. Yes. You did it. You've completed the you you wished the punkest horse. Oh wow, that was quick. So who's who's on that one? People people are watching. Yeah, they are. Oh, dead parrot. They're already. They're not even watching. So, uh, yeah, all the other stuff. So okay, cool. Look at that picture. Actually, you know, well, I should have added like a uh, vignette. So like it just like collapses in. I think you did just fine. Image only because Copa, yes. That's what all this channel is gonna be now is Twitter images. You're gonna release a lot of them and it's gonna make a whole the whole video. I got hiccups. You know, there's back to back to happy picky pie. Yes. <laughs> hashtag seven hashtags. Well, no, like if you put one of those hashtags that like might be relevant, but you're like confused and like unsure why. Um, uh, like uh, just put like hashtag hot dog. Like. Why? Why is that? Is there something I'm missing? Is there a hot dog in this picture? Could be. They could become hot dogs. Hashtag, hashtag. Or hashtag Octothorpe. Everything is capable of becoming a hot dog someday. Um. Awesome. This is like. Uh, this is like Michael when somebody starts saying a fart joke. Yes. And then they actually say the fart joke. Uh, yes. <laughs> he said boops. It got extended. Awesome. It's gonna be a fart joke. Fart joke's pretty great. Oh, it's. Yeah, this is this is what happens. Do like this. I can just do like this actually. Oh nope, I can't. So we'll do it like a little bit of both. Something like this. Um. No, what are you doing? So it's like Rainbow's like f like fart joke, and then like ah, <laughs> wow, okay. get super excited. That might be a little quick. <laughs> and like <laughs> farts. It's like it's like a Batman transition. <laughs> it's actually really nice. How bad? <laughs> She's so well, actually, it would have to be more like uh, where they do it like this thing. <laughs> it's a gold vaccine. It's very disorienting. Uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Violet Cross. Thank you very much. I saw your tweet post. Now I finally get, got a star. Ooh. Oh. You have a star. That's really fancy. The cake thank night. you very Yeah, thank you very much. I think yeah, you said last time, so thank you very much. Um... Okay, I have to un I have to undo that um, and and move this back. Okay, but we are going to be probably done for today then because we are at our two hour mark. So we'll be back on Friday to Sunday. to do more of this. Um, didn't it didn't actually get as much done as I wanted, but we also made a bit a birthday party picture for Pinky. Yes. Um, where'd it go? Is that a browser? It's not a browser. It's gone it? forever. No, it's over here. Okay, there we go. It's gone. See, 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 How do you already have that many people see, liking your post? See, I put a really sad Pinkie Pie having a party that she's all depressed about, and I've already got 17 likes, where I think my one about, like, YouTube sucks. 
got like 50 and it took all day. We're bumping people out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, didn't want to, they didn't want to hear about like um, you not doing horse pictures. It's the only thing that keeps them like, like gets them out of bed in the day. But uh, it's the promise of horses. But no, at least I got I got pinky figure. Ooh, is her legs correct? I feel like they're not. Hold on, I want to fix that quick. I feel like they're not bending enough. Um, bendy horse. Okay. People like that's a bit better. This is not depressing topics. Fair, but they are important topics. Hey, see, like, the most important stuff tends not to be the the happiest things. <laughs> I like this oh. right here. This is just it's like, good. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh, it's like it's like my wood. Yes. This is where the thing you were saying before, where like somebody gets sees their fetish. Yes, <laughs> Pinky just saw hers. Everything's Pinky's fetish. It is. Um, yeah, hello, Lyle Cross. I just wanted to say uh, that I watched you since I began to be in the Bernie fan back in 2013. Me too! You um, did. And you inspired me a lot. And now a junior 3D, anima you know, junior 3D animator and just released your first uh, short film show. For Whoa, wow, that's really cool. Well, it is pretty great. That's uh, super cool. Making a, hopefully a career out of it then. So, well, congratulations. And hopefully you keep it up. Uh, normally, I think uh, animation beats somebody up and leaves them a dry husk of a person after about six months. So, yeah, and I've been doing it for so much longer. Just imagine what's left in me. Nothing. So, um, but no, if you're able to keep going at that, uh, that's pretty good. So, I'm my desktop changed and this is the first one I grab. <laughs> I mean, All my desktops picture. are linked and this one is set to always be black and I keep forgetting to change it so then it keeps making it black so I have to grab something else but now I have the laptop and it took that la its desktop image is super weird. Mm -hmm. um, but no, but thank you very much for popping in and uh, I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully it keeps up and going well for you. Yeah. So. Um, but yes, otherwise we're going to be good for today. Um, As you were saying. Yes, uh, we're going to be back on Friday to work on stuff more. Jellyfish. Uh, is it, who's on? We got Jay playing Elden Ring and AZ making... Is he making a derp? No, making well, a no he has his hand up a Twilight. He um, does have his hand up a Twilight. Uh, up through the neck, I think. Yeah, I don't know... <laughs> we're just going to lie. This is going to be us. Watching him. I feel like you know it's one thing if you're gonna you're gonna feel up a pony's butt, but doing it from the inside is a little weird. Does this feel? Is this like uh, what we're doing right now? Is this kind of yeah? Like we're gonna we're gonna creeping? we're just gonna send you his way, and you can make a decision yourself as like, to maybe we can start a whole stream where we just watch other people's streams, and then we like like this is weird, right? It's a little weird, but um, you can make some good so much good content. I plan to keep making more. Something about so. four. In the background surprised me. Yeah, it was a little bit. A little, little bit. It kind of actually surprised me, too. Just um, stuff that twice. And we're not going to invade the one above Vor. Uh, but we're going to jump over to AZ. Let me grab the kitty for the thank yous. Thank you guys very much uh, for coming by, talking, following, like, cheering, subbing, everything that ends in. Mm. Uh, thank you to Luna Presso Shooting Star and Sir Edward for the bits, especially Luna Presso for the 1300, I believe. I think that was really cool. So thank you very much. Thank you for the follows to Violet Cross, Night Harmony 69, ZM Art, and Lucy Zidragon. Dragoon. I missed the dragoon part. And also thank you for the resubs from uh, Rosani and Charging Hot Rod. Appreciate it very much. This hand is up at Twilight. That is a surely not Copa. G good. This Twitch is not a problem. But, uh, okay, good. Go give AZ a hard time because he's, he he loves a hard time. Yes. Tell him to, what is he doing making not derpies? Like the heck? This purple derpy. <laughs> this is <a> purple derpy. <laughs> yes. Alright. I don't know why the, the not working. I, read, I found a, a problem with the buttons. Delete, 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 delete